Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. So a couple of things I usually do after a successful hunt is talk about gear that I really uh, liked. So I love the 900 Ace engine for the, uh, from uh, Bombardier, but uh, this isn't about this, this is about knives. And my evolution is pretty much complete. Uh, this is an $8.95 Victorian Ox paring knife. It's just a simple kitchen knife, and I made these Kydex sheaths for it. And when it came to skinning and processing the bison, I kept coming back to this little knife here because it's so thin. And using a thin knife is a revelation. Now, some folks use those uh, scalpel knives, which are nice and thin, but they break. This has got a nice flexible blade. But look at the thinness of it. I don't know if you can take a good picture of that, Jane, of how thin that knife blade is. And when we were skinning the bison, I kept coming back to this knife because it's so ultra thin that it just sliced exactly what you want it to do. So for sheep hunting and stuff like this, I don't think I will take anything, or caribou hunting, I don't think I will take anything more than this little knife which even with this little homemade sheath is two ounces. And the only thing I used on this knife was a steel because it's a soft stainless. It's like a kitchen stainless. So you can straighten the edge with a steel. So really, really impressed with these Victorian Ox paring knives, the three inch model. They also have a three and a quarter inch model. I like the three inch model. You can buy them anywhere. Uh, they're like a little tiny steak knife. And I just love it. Unfortunately, they don't come with a sheath. So if you can't make a sheath, I don't know what you're going to do. And these little Kydex sheaths, I got the thinnest Kydex I could. I made uh, the cheapest little thing out of just some sleeping bag phone and two 2 by 4s to clamp it together and heated it up in a, in a toaster oven. And uh, there you go. Victorian Ox 3-inch paring knife.